Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Neverwinter on my control wizard. I am racing against the clock. This is the last day of the beta weekend, and this is, as far as I know, the last beta weekend. So what we can see here, if you've watched the uh, video for my trickster row, you can see that the there is a trap here. Now, thankfully, it's uh, early enough in the game that it's warning me there by a notification to say, hey, there is a trap, be careful. So it's not as easy to see that without the abilities of the rogue, because the rogue, it obviously, it sparkles, makes it very easy to see. I'll be okay. Hello, friend. So I can see where it would be a bit harder. Let's grab those. I can see where it'd be a little harder to tell where traps are. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of arcane so we can choke someone. Go ahead and choke you. And freeze you. So yeah, I could definitely see, you know, traps might be harder to detect that way. And that's fine. But some of them are still kind of obvious, but I have seen others that weren't. So I'm thinking maybe it's just the fact that it's early in the game that I'm seeing this. So I'm hoping to get this character at the very least to level 10 so we can see if I get a class specific function. Alright, and E. There we go. I have to admit I'm still having a hard time with this control wizard. He's definitely got a lot of abilities for control. But it almost seems like I'm, I'm having a hard time telling when each one would be more appropriate. A melee character that's rushing in would probably be better to freeze. But when would it be better to say maybe use Magic Missile instead? And then of course I've got these Chill Strike and the Entangling Force. Now this one does go up with Arcane Mastery. Duration and powers increase, so if I'm fighting something tough, I'll probably want to give myself a few stacks of Arcane Mastery first. Chill Strike, I still don't know what the Spell Mastery really counts on that. But that definitely hits harder than the others, so I could probably lead off with that on smaller enemies like that. Start freezing something else before it gets near. Let's go ahead and grab you. That's not too bad. Maybe I'm just not used to it yet, that's making it a bit more difficult. And as I get more powers, we might be able to see what this class is capable of. Oh, jumping down on me, huh? Alright, let's go ahead and take one of you out. Decent amount of damage on that choke. So I'll have to keep an eye on this character. He's obviously not the standard nuking type of mage. He's definitely designed for other things. Now this character would be great in a party, obviously, because then I can sit at range while a tank holds aggro, gather my stacks as I need, And of course I can lift enemies up and then I can freeze them while they're lifted up. So yeah, any group set oh, trap there. Set see that? So yeah, I can see where this would be a lot tougher not knowing that those are there. Alright, so I I won't um make fun of their dungeon setup anymore. <laughs> I did that enough on the Trickster Rogue. It was just so obvious at times that I can see now if you're not paying attention you could easily trip up. Let's freeze you. Oh wow. I do love the teleport. I really do. Now all of my abilities of course lock me in place. I did talk about this hefty combat system where 
if you use an ability, you're kind of committed to it. So the wizard doesn't have a chance to really get away if the enemy starts closing in on him. Now from what I can tell, uh, for enemies that are using ranged abilities, I probably don't want to use my Ray of Frost. It doesn't seem to do as much damage. Even though it does freeze the enemy, they're, you know, if they're still attacking me at range... Uh. See, now here's a good chance for me to go ahead and use these traps. Now, of course, the only reason I know those were traps were because I saw them with the rogue before. Of course, if you get used to playing this game, you can kind of see those slits in the ground and say, Oh, yeah, I know what that is. So an enemy like this that's going to possibly get near me, I'm going to freeze him. And just try and keep him at a distance. Let's go ahead and lift him up. <laughs> Bounce him around, apparently. This is good practice, I think. You know, it gives me a range of different things to fight against to uh, try and understand how a control wizard would work on his own. But definitely a character I would love to see more in a party. Just while the in while your teammates are either killing or taking the damage for you, it'd be so much better. Did I really hit that? All right, so I've got my uh, ultimate ability still, which does a ton of damage. <laughs> let's see who we've got. Minion, minion, minion. So they're all going to rush at me. So let's try and kill. Whoa! One outright. And we're going to freeze you and. Just going to use my arcane on you. I'm going to try and get five arcane stacks and see what I can. What kind of damage I can do with the choke. I've got, I believe, a 10 second duration on that. I think it's about to wear off before I find somebody to use it on. Yep, it did. Uh, I kind of I kind of wish this this had a longer duration on it for the charges. Alright, he's a five shield, he's a five hurler, minion. Okay, so the hurlers need to go. So you first. Okay, arcane stacks are mine. Let's take out the minion. I'm gonna try and freeze you. Maintain my stacks. And let's go ahead and get you in the air. Get you with the heart ability, and then we're gonna freeze you before you hit the ground. Or maybe not. Hey, there we go. Great, didn't even have to use the uh, daily here. That's not bad. That's not bad. If I get used to his abilities, that could really work. As I increase my intelligence, I will have shorter cooldowns. So I'll be able to use some of the harder hitting abilities more often. It's kind of nice to be able to attack one enemy while the other one's being controlled. That is uh, not something I really had that I could do as a rogue. Although as a rogue, I could misdirect them and get them to attack something else. So I guess you could say in that sense, the Trickster Rogue had it a bit, a little bit easier, especially in larger fights. Just because I could misdirect everybody. Whereas this character can only really focus... You notice I can only really focus on one thing at a time? Uh-oh. Get out of there. Alright, just do it. Bam! I love that it knocks him in the air. Uh, 
Alright, so my next thing is at level 6. Alright, so I'll be getting that next. Okay, so definitely need to get used to using my bolts on the hurlers because it'll just do more damage and save me a lot of heartache and headache. Definitely not bad. I'm looking forward to trying some of the other classes. The Rogue is still on uh, one of the tops on my list. I, I had a lot of fun with that. And uh, In MMOs, I generally tip to, uh, tend to like to play casters for some reason. I like playing characters that can just cast spells at a distance and do a lot of damage when played well. Uh-oh. Back off. Go ahead and get a oh, get away from that. That's about to hit. In the air with you. Freeze, sir. Well, I'm getting knocked into a corner here. Let's kind of pull back. You're at a distance, so I can freeze you now. Now, part of my reasoning for liking mages in games like, say, World of Warcraft... Okay, let's freeze him so he can't do that anymore. Nice. Part of my reason for that is that uh, I never found melee overly interesting. In fact, I found it kind of difficult in games like WoW because you're just sitting there trying to run around as melee, so you're spending a lot of time moving around, dodging abilities, while trying to remember what your optimal rotation for DPS is. Or if you're a tank, trying to remember your optimal aggro rotation. It was just so much work, and the combat wasn't all that interesting in games like that. I say that because you were hitting buttons to do special abilities, but in the end you were pretty much just hitting 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and it's like the skills and abilities that you had with... Um... Oh yeah, I like lifesteal. Give me that. I kind of need it for when enemies get up close. You know, the, the skills and abilities that you were using just weren't terribly different, terribly interesting. Sure, you might be able to sunder someone's armor or something like that, but, you know, in the end, you weren't choosing between, hey, should I attack quick now and try and uh, do a bunch of damage before I have to move out of an ability? My jewelry. And so playing this, I found that I really like the combat in this because I have to decide when to attack, when to move. And each of my strikes, I can miss. My teleport strike on my rogue, when I jump in the air and come down, if they've been knocked away, I'm not going to hit them. You know, it's not like the hit is automatically guaranteed. I have to make sure that I do hit them. So melee in this game intrigues me more than casters in that regard. Alright, so it looks like we did get our next level and we've got a new daily power. So, oppressive force creates an oppressive magnetic force that dazes nearby enemies and then explodes after a brief delay. It dazes them further after that. On cast, you build a stack of arcane mastery. So, this is great. So, now, you basically focus between adding stacks of chill or adding stacks of arcane mastery. So, we're going to try this ability and I am definitely looking forward to putting that on an enemy, see what it does. So I can use that to gain more stacks of arcane, and then I, from there I can use my force choke. It's not actually called force choke, but I'm going to call it that anyway. So let's move on to some of the more boring, well not really boring, but they're kind of imp required because they tell you where everything is. I guess you could say they're boring after you've done them a couple times, just do a couple turn-ins. Very good. So it looks like I got a new orb with some damage and power, but less recovery. So I chose the orb I had because of the recovery it had. Lots of damage and power, though. What about this one? Damage, power, armor, penetration. Let's go ahead and use that one. The recovery is not a lot. That's armor penetration. Hold on, I want to see what this looks like as it's floating around me. See if this... No, still looks like kind of a glass orb. 
I thought with the artwork of the abil of the item here it would be different. Let's get the armor penetration. Seems like things like life steal, armor pen, and all that are not going to be counted separately. Like it's not going to be a matter of having physical armor pen compared to magical armor pen, as uh, some games tend to do. So it's nice to see that it's probably going to be a bit more streamlined. Of course, that makes sense considering each item in your arsenal is typically given to your class. So, for example, this orb can only be used by a control wizard. This belt can only be used by a control wizard. Hey, look, this shirt can only be used by a control wizard. Even these pants are only stylish enough to be used by a control wizard. And it'll be interesting to do the skirmish. I think that'll be something I want to really show because it can really give you an idea of what you can do in a group dynamic when you're playing a class like this. I want to try out my daily power, so let's keep moving here until I can... This place is oddly sparse. I'm not sure. It looks like uh, it's just a bunch of other adventurers in the area making it a little harder to get what I need. So I love the fact that if you look in the upper right, there's a small circle within the big circle that lets you know, hey, that's where you actually need to get the thing you're looking for. So they've got a lot of transparency when it comes to what you need to do. Oh. Yeah, I shouldn't have used Frozen on a sniper. should have used my Arcane. No, I want to take a look at his casting animation. I think his casting animation is just a little odd. <laughs> it is kind of odd, isn't it? Alright, let's, uh... Get him in the air. Freeze him. Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and use my, uh... There we go. Whoa, look at that. That was pretty cool. It's like summon a whole bunch of uh, weapons and just hits the enemy and then it just explodes and dazes them further. That's beautiful. Alright, my objectives are complete in the area. Let me take a look at that again. Does it say it does damage? It does, yes. 163 to 189. I like that. Brief delay, explodes, deletes again. That's pretty cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and go back and see what it compares to Ice Storm. 217 to 250. So it's less damage, but it has a daze. So I think... Might be... It's hard to say which one would be better for uh, solo versus group. I mean, they both do an AOE, which is kind of nice. I've been keeping Sergeant. But watch your step. But we aren't the only ones who want Gotham to reveal the location of Karzov and the Crown. A gang of were rat thieves, known as the Dead Rats, caught wind of his involvement and kidnapped him. The Nashes abandoned Gotham to his fate. So if you can rescue him, he will likely tell us everything he knows. The dead rat's lair is in the sewers here. I'll mark a known entry on your map, but be... Alright, we closely approach level 7. So leveling is moving on quite nicely. So, minion, minion, scum... Okay, let's just go ahead and take him out. Alright, getting stacks. Let's go ahead and just lift him up. Got two stacks of Arcane Mastery. I kind of have to approach each situation, kind of look at what they've got. So they've got a mage, a minion, scum is the archers, so I want to take them out first. So let's go ahead and try and do that now. Slow down one of the melee that's coming in. Get 
some stacks up here, so... Okay, that's going to be my third stack, so let's get him into the air. So what's beautiful is I do believe that also gives me a... It doesn't say it does, but I believe it gives me an additional stack of arcane. So I will have to look into that. I think what I'll do is I'll lead off one of my fights with it to see if I get a stack of arcane from it. What's up there, old Jerry? How's it going? Alright, I'm just gonna grab your stuff, buddy. Thank you for the Dungeoneering kit. Alright, so what have I got here? Minion, minion... Another minion around the corner. Looks like they're all gonna be minions, so let's get rid of the guy that's closest. Oh, looks like there's someone next to him. All right, let's lead off with that, and then we'll do this, and yes! Okay, it does give me a stack of arcane. So I can either save it and use it to hit hard against a tough enemy, since it gains power and duration for each stack, or I can lead off with it to gain additional stacks since my uh, damage gets increased for each stack. So I could lead off with it in order to get my magic missiles improved. So, uh, not too bad. There's a couple different strategies that you could employ with that, I think. And so far I don't have a lot of skills just yet, so... So I'm trying here to use what I've got to control the enemy a little better. Alright, let's go ahead and hit him with that ice. So for standard cannon fodder, I don't really need to build up arcane stacks, so I really think I can just go ahead and lead off with that so that Instead of having multiple enemies charge at me, I can whittle it down to maybe one or two. And then I should be able to freeze them before they get to me. Should be the plan, at least. Okay, a little bit of Arcana, giving me some more crafting materials. Really looking forward to trying crafting, honestly. I, I want to see what they do with it. And oops, okay, so this is gonna suck because I gotta get past this trap. Oh, cool, I dodged it. So, can I dodge it again? Yeah, sweet. So, even though I'm not a thief, I could get right past it. Great. Looks like I got an item I can't quite look at yet. Uh, what's this? Critical strike, defense, but less recovery. That's minor. I'll go ahead and keep mine with the recovery. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! I knew those were there, but I didn't think I had stepped in them. That kind of sucks. Alright. So once again, kind of approaching the situation with care. Since I am a mage, I can't exactly rush in. So I've got a mage on the right, I've got a scum on the left. Scum being the archer, let's go ahead and take out the archer. And then I think I will... Whoop! Ugh, let's get one of them in the air. Excuse me, Mr. Guard, I need you to freeze for me. Alright, let's go ahead and get you. You are going to get hit with this. Oh, nice. Alright, you know what? Go into the air, please. Freeze you. Hit you with the strong shot of ice. Alright, I'm out of your range. That's good. There we go. Ice shot. 
Nice. And there we go. Whew. Yeah, this guy is going to take some getting used to. Serious getting used to. I, I can't wait to see what other mages they add, though. The whole fact that I have no mana bar that I can use everything on cooldown is, is fantastic to me. So I really want to see what they can do with a, a mage that focuses on other schools of magic. All right, so we've got a new encounter power. Conduit of Ice. Turn target enemy into a conduit for an icy storm, dealing damage to them and reduced damage to enemies around them for a short period. Damage is increased by 5% for every stack of chill, and those effects are constantly refreshed. So, okay, Spell Mastery now adds a chill effect to targets hit by Conduit of Ice and increases the size of the area. You know what? I have a feeling that Spell Mastery is going to be my tab ability when I finally get it. It's um, just odd that it's not listed here, even though it was listed on... The rogue. I'm just not sure why that is. Well, we'll just find out, won't we, when we get to level 10. So this is my new ability, Conduit of Ice. So looking forward to doing that. It does, of course, it's... So it's another one of those spells that I can lead off with in order to get it ticking. And yet, if I'm fighting something, a tough enemy, I can use my Ray of Frost and get a few stacks of Chilled Up first and then use it. Now one thing I can do is I can combo, because here I've got Chill Strike which adds a chill, and then throw Conduit onto them as well. It's got a pretty long range here, so let me see how far can I go. Looks like they're all... Okay, looks like they're all 80 feet. Alright. So I've got a two scum. Let's go ahead and... Chill. Conduit. Well, no, that wasn't Conduit, that was the choke. Alright, so let's do the ice. Oh, nice. It's like an ice tornado. Hold on, it said I got mail. What did I get? Oh, okay, I sent myself some items. That's funny. I'm surprised it just suddenly told me. Hey, you! Goodbye. So that is pretty cool. So it's constantly refreshing. Deals damage to them, reduce damage to the enemies around them, so good AoE. Damage is increased for each stack of chill. Okay. Alright, so I can basically hit it on them and start chilling them to do even more damage. So like, let's try that. I'm going to like hit him with it, and then I'm going to start freezing him. Of course, as we saw there, he died way too quick. Alright. In the air with you. Yeah, that's just pretty cool. Uh, that wasn't meant to be a pun, but hey. Uh, what have we got here? Oh gosh, minion, scum, minion. All right, let's take out the scum so we don't. He doesn't have ranged. All right, so we're gonna get choked. Let's get out of there. All right, let's try freezing you. Go ahead and hit you with a big hit for even more chill. All right, there we go. Now you'll be a conduit doing even more damage. So you are currently being chilled. Go ahead and hit you with uh, another hard-hitting ability. All right, in the air with you. I'm done. Have fun. I know I did. <laughs> what was that? Oh, physics. Physics messing up just a little bit. All right, let's... I scum. So I got some pretty hard-hitting abilities now. All right, I did this on the uh, rogue. Let's go ahead and do this. This switch also interacted that other switch in the corner, and then this will turn both of these to the right and solve the puzzle. All 
I'm looking forward to more puzzles like that in other dungeons. I just really want to see cool secret areas. That ice shot is beautiful. Uh-oh. Minion, minion. Okay. The mugger. That worked out. I'm happy with it. I got myself a thieves kit. It's like bowling right there. He just kind of maybe softball. I don't know. He kind of winds up, takes the pitch. That's impressive. You can just kind of sit there and hit him with that cold tornado and then get him into the air and freeze him. You can just pretty much chain control an enemy with this. Like, if I just keep doing this again... Ah, he hit me. I was hoping I would get him before he hit me again. Alright, let's see how we do against Flea Bottom. I've got my daily ready. How do I want to approach this? Scum, scum. So let's kill that one. Let's knock that one into the air. Start freezing Flea Bottom. Let's go ahead and hit him with the tornado to enhance the freeze. Kind of froze them again. Really isn't too much of an issue here. Let's go ahead and get him in the air. Freeze him again. We can get him with the tornado. Hit him with the big ice pit. Kind of getting away here. All right, let's just go ahead and use the daily ability. Knocked him back and took out most of his followers. He got out to me, but I was able to knock him into the air. Let's go ahead and give him a tornado while we get away. Alright, there you go. Flea Bottom, not too much of an issue. Alright, you go into the air. The issue is probably mostly with his minions, who I'm just kind of tearing through right now. There you go. That's what you can do with chain crowd controlling effects. Yes. Oh, I helped to steal the crown. I was a loyal Nasha. 
Go ahead and heal up. And a decent pair of shoes. 